It's lunchtime, and today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're going to eat ice cream. Yes, and we're going to get started eating it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're eating ice cream for lunch oh my gosh we're five years old <laughs> that's a five-year-old like ice cream lunch request i am actually super excited about this so uh enlightened ice cream actually reached out to us i was like super stoked when they did yes and said hey we're releasing our new ice cream keto bars I'm and all about the bars. Would you be interested in trying them and reviewing them for us? Yeah, like how you love bars, like keto bars. I like bars as in ice cream bars. What's nice about ice cream bars, if these are good, is that your serving is there. You don't have to worry about having a pint and being like, oh, did I eat too much? Like one bar, one serving. You can't overdo it. And it's all for me. I don't have to share. This is mine. <laughs> So, okay, so they sent us uh, four different kinds. They have four kinds of these new keto bar ones. I, I don't think they're available in stores yet, but I'm sure they're going to be available in stores. Okay. So um, we've got uh, peanut butter chocolate chip, dark chocolate, marshmallow peanut butter, oh. and then we have this one is mint chocolate chip. Now, let me tell you a little bit of what happened here. So you'll see this one's not in the box. These look like they got into a fight. Yep, so they were shipped to us in a styrofoam container, dry ice. Super excited about that. Well, unfortunately, it looks like these are like, it's a thin kind of cardboard. Yeah. And uh, the dry ice got out of the plastic bags. And so these were literally like stuck to the styrofoam inside of the shipping container. So I had to like peel them off. I think what they just need to do is put another layer of plastic wrap around, around the these. Box. I think they need to put this in a plastic bag, which I, sh I told her, but you can see. So yeah, the whole bag, the whole box kind of got ruined. Ice cream is fine. It's just that like the condensation and as the dry ice was evaporating, started affecting the box and stuck it to and froze it to basically they, uh, the styrofoam container. They look like they've been out all night drinking. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to each have one. We're going to try the different flavors, but let's go over the ingredients. So I'm going to grab the peanut butter chocolate chip one. Ingredients in this are cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, peanuts, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, coconut oil, skim milk, dutched cocoa, tarragum, guar gum, carob gum, monk fruit extract, sunflower lecithin, salt, and vanilla. I saw something a little bit scary on this one because this is, I'm really excited. The marshmallow peanut butter. Okay. That flavor just sounded so good. What's, what's wrong in that one? Cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, uh -huh. peanuts, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, skim milk, natural flavor, sugar. Okay. Peanut oil, terra gum, guar gum, carob gum, monk fruit extract, and salt. So, so that one looks like it has a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah. Let's go over the uh, macros on this. So one bar, and this is the peanut butter one, is 190 calories, 17 grams of fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, 3 grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, 3 grams of dietary fiber, 8 sugar alcohols. So it's one net carb per bar. This one here, 190 calories, 17 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, 10 total carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugar alcohol. So that's one net carb. What about that one there? This one is 16 grams of fat, um, 3 grams of protein, 180 calories per bar, 11 grams of uh, carbohydrates, 2 dietary fiber, and 8 sugar alcohol. So yeah. They're keeping them up. One net carb. And this one is 180, 16 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, 11 total carbs, 8 sugar alcohol, 2 dietary fiber, 1 net carb. So, And I will say that they actually say sugar-free on these boxes, but this one does not say sugar-free on the box. So they've done, you know, the responsible thing. So what are we tasting? Well, we're going to taste a couple of them, but... 
I want to taste this one. So you're gonna have I really want to. I really want to taste the marshmallow. Honestly, let's so, just do it. So there's yours. I'm gonna have one of these. We're all gonna take a, a bite, right? So this is the marshmallow peanut butter. Look at that. This one is the peanut butter chocolate chip. Look at that. It's got actual, it's marshmallow like peanut butter chunks in there. This is a nice serving. Yes. This is a really nice serving. Okay. So I'm going to try this one. Wow. That is peanut butter ice cream. This tastes like marshmallow. And then you get like little pieces of the peanut butter in it. What's nice about these is Want we haven't help? taken them out of the freezer ahead of time. No. So you don't, these are not something like where you have to take it out for 15, 20 minutes. Oh, that is good. This is really good too. Wow. That is really good. That is I really good. want to try the other flavors, but what are we going to do? We can take a bite. Okay, well, which one are you going to finish? Um, You're going to finish one. Which one are you going to finish? I don't know. I haven't tasted those yet. Okay, well, let's let's do that. And then we're, what we'll do is we'll pause the video for a second so that we can go stick these in the freezer mm -hmm. so that they don't all melt while we're filming our video. Um, this is the dark chocolate. And this is the mint chocolate chip, which I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wait till you see how chocolatey this is. Wow. That is incredible. No kidding. That's probably the best mint chocolate chip ice cream I've ever had. Man. Wow. That is delicious. That's what you're going to finish, isn't it? That is delicious. Okay, so let me go put these in the um, refrigerator, in the freezer. Which one are you finishing? Mm, I think I'll finish this one. Okay, I'm back. I put them in the freezer, but I brought back the boxes. Wow. Every single one of those flavors was delicious. Oh, I just got a big chunk of peanut butter. Nice. Okay, so. Let's go over the prices on these real quick. There's two different ways you can buy the bars. You can give $48 for a four pack, which is four boxes of the bars. Any boxes you want. So you can either get a variety where you get one of each box or you can get um, like all of like four boxes of one particular flavor. Okay. So you can't do like two of one and two of the other. It's right. either four of the same or one of each one. $48. So that's 16 bars. That's like $3 a bar. Okay. They're then, really good. You have the option for $68, you can get a uh, eight pack. So that's 32 bars. Oh, okay. So now you're that's a significant price difference because now you're paying like $2 and 12 cents a bar. These are crazy good. Again, this is not normal ice cream. This is not Briar's ice cream. No. I've eaten a, my fair share of drumsticks and fudge sickles in my life. This ain't them. No. This, this is, is good. really decadent. Yeah, so I would definitely go with if you're gonna order from them, buy the eight pack because you're saving like almost a dollar a bar. Right. Now when they sent us everything, they did send us a coupon code. We are not affiliates with them. We don't make any money off of like doing a review or like you guys using a coupon code. They're just like, we're going to give you a coupon code for doing the review for your subscribers. That's awesome. And there's two different coupon codes. So the first one is two crazy ketos. And that gets you $7 off of buying the pint, which we already wow. did the review of the one flavor, that's a which good, I'll put that link over Rachel's head. That's a good discount, though. Yeah, and what that is is so you can get eight pints for $56, and then if you use the coupon code 2 Crazy Ketos, you'll get $7 off of that. So you're going to pay $49 for eight pints of ice cream. Or you can use the coupon code, I'm looking at 2 Crazy Ketos bar, mm -hmm. okay, and I'll put it here along the bottom of the screen. I've eaten mine. And that gets you... Now I'm sad. $12 off of the eight packs. So now, instead of paying um, your $68 for an eight pack, 
you're going to pay, what is that, um, $56 for an eight-pack, 32 bars, and that brings it down to $1.75 a, $1.75 a bar. Dude, that is an awesome so I think discount. I'm ordering some of these. Heck to the yes. Those are delicious, and honestly, every single flavor is amazing. The only thing I would say is if you really don't like mint at all, don't get the mint chocolate chip because it is minty, mm -hmm. but like in a great way. Yeah. I mean, it is. it's really good. But these have a really good texture, a really good flavor. They hold together. You know I'm what? Really, I mean, mine has just been sitting here and it's not like melting, melting. Here's the thing. What is the one thing about the keto ice creams? You have to wait because they stay hard, right? Yeah. You have to wait to eat them. In a bar form, that's the greatest ice cream bar there is. Right? Because it doesn't just automatically fall apart when you take it out of the package. Yeah. No, I'm really, really liking this. It makes a great bar. A piece of mine fell off. Sorry. He's going to eat his wrapper. Okay. So I'm going to put this last bite in. Do you want to do our five things? Yeah. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Right now, though, I have to say my game is a little off because tea. Still working on this tea, man. Tea. Well, okay, so number one, the ingredients. With the exception of this one, the marshmallow peanut butter that's got a little bit of sugar in it, everything else was sugar free. Yeah, and at least with this one, I'm gonna say the sugar is listed like all Very the way on the bottom. bottom. But ingredients overall, really I'm gonna good. say the same thing as we did with the pints. And if there's anything you wanna complain about, it would be that uh, soluble corn fiber. Well, and I like that at least it's non-GMO. Yes. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Yes, and I am so stinking happy about that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, all of them only have one net carb for the bar. And then you add in the fact that if you're a total carb person, they're all like 10, 11, or 12 total carbs. For a giant serving. Yes. I mean, that's what I really like about it, is that that feels satisfying. Yeah, so absolutely keto. I mean, higher than fat and protein. I mean, there's nothing to complain about as far as ketoing based on nutrition label. No, it's awesome. So number three, how does it taste? Awesome. It tastes awesome. Like, I'm putting my vote in now. We should have this for lunch every single day. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's really good. I mean, it's as good as getting like the pints of the rubble creamer or the killer creamery. And honestly, what it's reminding me of is what we used to eat pre-keto, which was the haagen ice cream bars. Oh, heck yes. I think they could take on haagen like easily. The only thing that this is missing was that chocolate shell that was around the outside of the haagen bar. But it's even about the same size. Well, and because it has like chunks of stuff on the inside of it, like the, the chocolate chips and the mint chocolate chips, yep. spot on. The peanut butter, delicious. And the marshmallow taste, like, oh my gosh. The marshmallow with the like layers of peanut butter in it. It tastes incredible. And that is probably the best chocolate base ice cream yeah. that I have tasted in a long time. And like I said, the mint chocolate chip, I personally think the best mint chocolate chip ice cream I have ever had. Keto or not keto. Well, and I'm a person to scrutinize it because you've got to win me over. Yeah, I don't you're normally, not a big mint chocolate chip fan. Nope, I don't normally like mint chocolate chip. So for me to be like, yes, I'm going in for another bite. That's We're actually going to do a review because we have the mint chocolate chip that we bought when we got the pints. Okay. Then we also have a mint chocolate chip from Killer Creamery, I believe, and we also have a Rubble Creamery one. So we're going to lay all three of them out and do a video and taste test and see which one now has the best mint chocolate chip ice cream. Wow. Okay. So uh, number four, how much does it cost? If you can get it with the coupon code, like super cheap. Well, even without the coupon code, so if you buy just the four boxes of the, you know, the four boxes of four bars, which is 16 bars, that's $3 a bar. So now I was figuring this out. When you buy like a pint of ice cream, like say for example, the Killer Creamer, and you buy a pint, yeah, that works out to be like $2.50 per serving. Right. So here you're going to pay $3 a serving, but it's individually wrapped. You don't have to worry about, am I overdoing it? You're actually going to get four servings out of it. Mm -hmm. So that is something to consider. But then like you said... If you, you know, break it down and get the eight pack, that brings you down to $2 and 12 cents and then use the coupon. You're at $1.75 a serving. And again, we're not making any money off this. This is just a really good coupon and we don't want you to miss it. And I'm sure when these show up in the grocery stores, they're going to be even cheaper. You know, I know oh, yeah. people have said that even about the pints. They've seen the pints cheaper than the website. Already. Anytime they onboard something new, a new product, like buy it 
when it first comes out because that's when they're most likely to do kind of like the buy one get one freeze at Publix and that sort of thing. Yeah. So finally, number five, would we recommend this? I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to tell you, I would almost buy the bars over the pints. That's what I was going to say. Because you can eat it right away, which you can't do in the pint. You have right. to wait and leave it on the counter for 30 minutes. And usually what happens in my case is I can't wait and I'm starting to dig and chisel Always at this. Always stick it in the microwave. Right. Into this hard, you know, pint of ice cream. This yeah. conveyance is perfect. I, I completely agree. I actually would buy the bars over the pints. And we haven't had all the pints. We've only had one flavor so far. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I thought the pints were good. But I would buy the bars just for the convenience. Like you said, taking them out. You don't have to take it out because a lot of times Rachel will say, hey, like, can we have some ice cream now? Okay, let me go take it out. It's going to take 30 minutes. Yeah. And then I'll come in and she's falling asleep. And now i got to wake her up because now the ice cream is melted. Because he knows, don't let me sleep. Don't let me miss that ice cream or you're going to get in trouble in the next morning. So, yeah, the fact that we don't have to, like, take it out ahead of time, the convenience factor, the fact that you know that you're going to actually get four servings out of a box, I'm going to go buy some while we have a coupon code that we can use. So. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you guys have tried these and let us know what flavor you would be most interested in trying. Or if you've tried them, what flavor did you like the best? Yeah. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.